we was gang banging and doing all that before rapping. So it's expected that you're going to have a little opposition from ex-gang niggas, uh, niggas you went to school with, people who just don't like you in general because, like I said, you had a life. It was, unfortunately, we had lives before rap started. Right. Growing up in in Compton, then you get one of them haters. Once you go up, you get a hater come in and trying to ruin your reputation mm. by talking bad. Oh, you wouldn't like that, or yeah, yeah. you 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 have to be able to um, curve that because uh, that's what most guys do. That's what the that. that's what the that's going to be the first mm. of of your um, your opposition's plan is to discredit you from back in the day. Oh, nigga, you wasn't this or you wasn't that. You know, and if you are comfortable enough with yourself, you can uh, you can let that shit bypass. Sometimes you get caught up in it. You get me. Uh, you want to respond to the naysayers and shit. But that's how I feel when I um, I was watching that live stream of our old girl. I kind of like, damn, I should I could have stayed at home. And, but I just feel like I was bitter or something. Like, Let me beat this bitch up real quick because she got me up because you're not finna get up on here and 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 somebody said shout out to Rennie Lowe. She in the chat and then you and he asked you, oh, I seen you on Rennie Lowe podcast. How y'all is y'all straight? Y'all cool? And she said, well, she said when she see me, keep it cute. I don't know if that was a threat or what. I just feel like, bitch, is you playing with me? So that's how you went up there? You was um, you was watching the live stream? Yeah, I was, was in my robe. I was an asshole nigga, I ain't gonna lie. But I had the robe on. I was just watching TV. Then I hop up on, I'm like, let me go on YouTube. I see Spider Lope. And then when she was sucking on the popsicle, I really was participating in the popsicle, you know, suck on. Like, you know, I was cool. I didn't have no problem with baby. And I'm like, okay, she's sucking on that popsicle. Oh, she do shit, I do. Okay, you know, I, th I thought, you know, I just laugh out loud, you know, just stuff like that. And, that came, so I'm like, okay, well, she think I'm playing, okay? And, and Spike Lowe dropped the address. He dropped the address. I said, damn, why does this nigga have to drop the address for real? So I gets up, put my shit on. My baby daddy said, where the fuck you going? I said, man, I'm finna go whoop some ass. And then he just said, what? He, he probably thought I was playing. But yeah, I had to dress regular. I dressed regular, you know, I had the titties out and everything, but I didn't go with my jury. I said, you know, I'm gonna leave the jury in the car. Ooh, I didn't go with no eyelashes or nothing. So um, when I got there, I just was like, what up, y'all, what up? And I asked her, do you have a problem? When she told me no, I was about to walk out. He had me sit down. He's like, oh, no, you didn't come to my establishment and trying to do that all because you really do me like that. I said, no. Nah. He said, I've been trying to get you on my podcast for a long time. You came over here just to do this. I said, no, nah. I just wanted to check, you know, because I wouldn't ever call her. Like, you know, I wouldn't ever call her. So she said everything was okay. Like, everything good. I'm about to leave. He he said, no, just stay here, drink. We finna do some content. Just stay, him and Munchie B. So I was, all right. As soon as I was, he said, the camera about to, I'm about to start rolling the camera. The bitch said, yeah, girl, coming up in here like you really was about to do something. That's where this all came in from. And then you just want to come. Yeah, yeah. I, I, they, they, I, like, when you say shit like that, you got to be ready. Like, oh, like, why would you just say that? They were like, why did you say this? Like, why did you say it? They were saying it at the same time I came out swung. It was too late. See, but do you, do you hear that in itself right there? This generation, y'all can watch something on TV that happened in real time and decide, I'm going to go over there and see this motherfucker. That's why I don't like live streaming, because if you do a live stream, somebody have a problem with you, they're going to go up. If they know where that person at, they're going to go up to that place, right, and do what they have to do. So I'm like, just like how I did it, that's a prime example. Just like how I did it, it can happen to anybody. Do people generally have issues with each other or just, just roll? Like, I trip off of how so many people who don't know each other have issues with each other. Right, I, I really right, trip right. off of that. Like, Because I feel like, baby, you didn't know me to even be... Like, right, I just, I, it just... It just puzzles me how uh, the the wrong thing can be mis you know and taken she, into the wrong concept. And she, said it, and she said it afterwards. She was like, "Everybody take take me like this is how I talk." Like this, she said, "This is how she talk." But it was too late after that. I, I was sorry about oh, it. Oh, definitely. I was sorry. I apologized to her. But like and I said, a lot of be set up like that because, like you said, um, motherfucker, you know, people uh, like to. They, they need content. 
I need content. That's some good content for me. If I can get some kind of, you know, confrontation happening, mm-hmm. knowing that I'm on live and people watching me. And it's like, you know, people know where the place is. So um, sometimes I feel like some things be set up. <laughs> Tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic players, this is not your average show. 